what's up guys i'm out here doing a little grilling on the traeger got some back straps going on the grill on a beautiful saturday afternoon and uh figured i'd give you guys a little flashback to a hunt from about this time last year where it's 15 degrees and i'm hunting in an area that the homeowner called me and told me he was seeing a ton of deer in so check this out let me know what you think give you guys a little warning here though this hunt features a crossbow so if you don't want to see that turn it off right now uh, this time last year i had torn my rotator cuff and I was hunting with a crossbow in order to get out there and keep thinning the deer out. Um, you know, I obviously don't have a problem with a crossbow. They definitely have a place in helping people get out, especially if you're injured. Like I was at the time, couldn't draw a bow back and didn't want to take, you know, eight months off, which took me a long time to recover from my torn rotator cuff. So, disclaimer, there's a crossbow. However, there's some of the coolest footage I've ever gotten in the woods. So check this out. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna go back to these back straps here that are looking good seasoned up and ready to rock so check this hunt out leave a comment below tell me what you think about this footage all right check it out back on the ground and go get our bolt and uh, pull the car down just to recover her. hunting pretty close to a busy road so try to be as discreet as possible let's roll got though tough recovery to watch her fall from the tree. What's amazing though is she only went 30 yards from uh, where I shot her and uh, thank god she did because you can see where the road is. Never go with the crossroads but one of the bigger does was so excited to get her on a scale. Alright, we'll go get the truck, load up, uh, grab my knives, try to get in here, get her cleaned out, get her loaded up, 
drop her off to some people that need some food and go to work. Another day in the suburbs. How cool is that? Is that not the coolest footage ever? So I was sitting there and that doe, there are a bunch of does that are feeding in on me and I just, I couldn't move a bunch because of that crossbow. And she eventually got my wind and circled around and she knew something was wrong but couldn't figure out exactly what I was. And so she just stood there stomping and blowing. When she blew, all that perspiration blew up and came up in the sky. It was really, really cool. I've never seen anything like that before. Uh, and then I couldn't shoot her because where she was, the cam of the crossbow wouldn't let me shoot. Otherwise, it would have destroyed the crossbow and my camera there. So I had to wait for her to clear into my shooting lane where I had enough separation between the tree and my crossbow to shoot her. Eventually, I put a hard shot on her and you saw what happened. She went 40 yards and piled up. But pretty cool hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Keep checking back and stay tuned. we got tons more content coming your way. Uh, we get to hunt year-round here in the suburbs, so plenty of opportunities to show you guys the cool stuff that happens when you're sitting in people's backyards over 200 days a year. So stay tuned, subscribe, let me know what you think about this hunt, let me know what you think about crossbows uh, below, and let me know if you want to see anything covered that I haven't done yet. So thanks for watching, keep checking back, we'll see you guys soon.